Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue our little theme of doing menu effects for the Divi theme here. And this will work just as well for anything, but we're using the great Divi theme here. Today we're using this colored background effect. If I hover over any of our menu items here, as you can see, it pops up with that nice hover effect. And if I go to a new page, you'll notice the new page is also highlighted like that, or the active page, current page. Really easy to do. We're going to write a bit of CSS to do this today, but don't let that put you off. Any CSS I write today, I'll put under the video, and you're welcome to use and change as you wish. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the code that I've written here. And save the changes. Now when I refresh, our menu should go back to normal here. There we go. There's the generic sort of default menu. Now I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have inspector tools now, but if you want to use Chrome, it's an absolutely free download. So to get started, I'm going to right click and inspect one of our links up here. And if I go up to our top menu at the top here, you'll see that it stretches from just above the link there to the bottom of the header. I don't want it to be that big for my effect today, so I'm going to give it a fixed height. So if I click on that top menu, I'm going to give it a height of, say, 30 pixels. Obviously, you fix yours however you want to. Now, if I hover back over it, you'll see it's now 30 pixels tall. But there's a line on the bottom of it that we don't want to see. So to get rid of that, I just need to add a bit of margin on the bottom. I'll try 25 pixels and we can always adjust it from there. Okay, that's almost there. If we highlight the 25 I can roll up and down with my mouse wheel and as you can see that pulls it up and this pushes it down so I'm going to push it down to it's just not making the header bigger but just out of view so 24 seems to work fine for that so let's make this permanent if I refresh the page now this will all go back to normal we need to write it into our CSS box to be able to make it work and we're working on the top menu right here it's an ID so if I copy that just double click and highlight it copy it let's go to our dashboard we're going to go down to Divi and theme options which is on the general tab general tab and it's right at the bottom you can also get it to to this via your theme customizer and also appearance and customize they're all the same so it was an ID so I need to give it a hashtag. All CSS IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them. Then the CSS ID name, the top menu. Then I want to open and close some curly brackets. And inside there, we'll put the code that we just wrote, which was height 30, margin bottom 24. And after we've done this effect, I might want to adjust those a little bit, but we'll do that at the end. Save our changes. Now this will make that permanent. Now I know from experience our height, because we're overwriting the default styles, I need to force it by using the important. So it's hashtag, so it's exclamation important. And I don't like to use this unless I have to, but we have to in certain situations when we're overriding other styles. So we'll save that. Now let's go back and see what we need to do to make this effect. So again, I'm just going to select a link. Doesn't matter which one. There it is. And we're on the menu item and then the A tag within the menu item. OK, well, let's just give it some padding all around to start with. So I'm going to 
give it a padding of 10 pixels all around if I just give it 10 pixels one attribute it'll do top right left and bottom so I'm going to say padding 10 pixels and now if I hover over it you can see that it's the green there it's got a padding of 10 pixels all around which will be great for our background color um, but we only want to see the background cover color when we hover and also it's pushed our menu down a little bit so let's write this in I want a small p on there it doesn't matter too much but it's correct with a small p uh, so let's write this in and it's menu item and it's the a tag and this is a class so if I double click on here and just copy menu item or you can just type it in if you wish control C We'll drop down and because it's a class it must have a dot or a period in front of it and then the actual class name menu item and we were affecting the anchor tag within that menu item so we want to hit the a now we'll open and close some curly brackets and in between is where we want to put our code i'll just rewrite it with 10 pixels okay now again we're overriding some styles so I'm going to use the important one more time I'll just copy it from here control C add it here great let's save our changes and see if this has actually worked now when I refresh and highlight this again you should still see that same amount of padding around it And there we go fantastic so now we're here let's adjust our menu height back to where it should be we go back up to our top menu there I'm going to give it a margin on the top of a negative value which will pull it back up so I'm going to say margin top and let's try minus 10 and see where that takes us minus 10 pixels that's better I don't think it's quite there I think it wants to come up just a little bit more so again I'll highlight it and just roll my mouse up we'll try 13 pixels now I've got to add a bit more to the margin on the bottom now because it's pulled that line back up so again I'll highlight that and I'll push that down again until it almost falls off I think that 13 may be a little too much let's take it down just a little bit again I think that's about right there actually seven there we go seven and 31 seems to work fine there let's just copy that and we'll paste that back in right here There we go, let's just tidy that one up. Great. Now, what else do we want to do? I'd like these links to actually be the blue color that we used for our logo here. And then when we hover, we can switch that from blue to white and have our button background come in. So let's do that. First thing I do want to do is get that color. I've got a free color pick, picker here just going to roll over it copy the hex code and let's say we want our links there and again we're overriding a style so we need to say color and it's a hexadecimal so I need to put a hashtag in front of it and then the color and again we'll have to force it Great, so that should have taken care of the color. Let's make sure it has. And we've got that color now, so we can do our hover effect. Let's make sure it has. Yep, as you can see, our links are now that nice blue color. 
So let's create the horror effect. I'm going to copy everything we have there from the dot of the class name to the curly bracket at the end, control C. I'm going to drop down and paste it in there. And now after the A with no gap, I'm going to put a colon and no gap again and the word hover. Don't put any gaps in there or it won't work. So it's A, no gap, colon, colon, no gap, hover. Okay, padding, we don't need that because that's going to stay exactly the same. We only need to put things in here that's going to change. I want to change the color of that link text to white, which is FFF. And we want to put a background color in. Colon of that blue color that we used before. We shouldn't have to force this because there's nothing there to overwrite, so it should be just straight CSS, semicolon. Always make sure you put a semicolon after each piece of code. If you don't, it won't read the next one if you put one in there. Okay, well, let's save that and see how we're doing. And refresh. There we go, as you can see, when we hover over it, the writing's turning white, and we got that blue background color in there. Fantastic. Now, it'd be also nice if the page that we were on, if I shoot to a different page, if the active page color is that same effect. We're on the home page now and there's nothing really going on there. But if we look down here, if I select this and inspect, we're going to see here current menu item. It's a class. These are all classes here, but we just need the current menu item class. So again, I'll double click, select that. Control C. We've got that class name and we need to affect the link within it again. So it's control current menu item and then a let's go back and write that in we'll go down just a little bit from here now because it's a class it needs a dot or a period in front of it again and then we want to affect the anchor tag that's within it the a so let's just open and close some curly brackets and we can steal everything from our hover effect just up here that should be it let's save our changes and let's get rid of our inspector and refresh the page and there we go our current page is highlighted and when we go over our menu links They've got that nice blue background. Now it's slightly faded there. So what we can do to change that is just put one more thing in there. We can, on the hover effect, we can say opacity one, which is fully visible. I suspect there's a bit of a fade going on there. And again, we're overriding the default style. So I'll add the important after it. And let's see if that's any different for us. We'll refresh that one more time. There you can see that that is now very pronounced and it's fully visible. No opacity on there. So there you go, guys. That is how to add a background effect using a bit of custom CSS. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.